Hello, nice to do it here, and welcome to Dino Dossier 11. So, uh, we've only got a couple this week. So, first up, we have the uh, Microraptor, which name means small one who seizes. So, small as in like micro, and one who seizes. So, the uh, Microraptor was among the smallest of dinosaurs. They were up to 2.7 feet long and weighed one kilogram. So, you can see how small it is, can't you? So, uh, Microraptors were among the most abundant non-avian dinosaurs. It had feathers covering its arms and tail, giving it four wings, and could and uh, could have glided or maybe flown. So, at some point during the evolution of birds, four-winged animals were produced. So, recent research has found that they had black, glossy feathers, much like the modern-day starling. So, we'll uh, see what it says on here. So they are a carnivore and they're aggressive. So well, they can be tamed, but obviously cannot be ridden. So the uh, Microraptor is one of the smallest non-avian dinosaurs on the island. Incredibly fast for its size, Microraptor is a voracious carnivore. Now aggressive towards anything its size or smaller. Microraptor fancies itself as an apex predator. It will attack humans on site, especially if it's not alone. So, uh, great. Another annoying bastard that will attack you on site and chase you across the island like those bloody flying ants. Uh, so in hunting, Microraptor's speed is only one of its is only one of its assets. While not quite capable of sustained flight, its wings allow it to stay aloft for several seconds while jumping. This allows Microraptor to attack its prey in vulnerable areas as well as search for small river fish. So there you go, it looks like it hangs around by rivers hunting fish. They're domesticated, while not a powerhouse against armed enemies, Microraptor is particularly suited at bringing down enemy riders. Microraptor's natural tendency to attack weaker creatures means they ignore the mount while attacking the rider of leaps of fury. So uh, just like the Dimorphodon, another creature that attacks riders of dinos. So this will make for a good dino to tame for base protection. So they attack the ride of leaps of fury. That sounds like fun and could be something worth watching. So uh, next up we have the uh, Gallimimus, meaning chicken mimic or rooster mimic if you're American. So you might recognize these from Jurassic Park where there is a big uh, herd running away from a T-Rex and uh, Dr. Grant is amazed that they flock together and the boy says they're flocking this way. So that's them. The uh, Gallimimus resembles an ostrich. It was uh, 6.3 foot tall, 20 foot long, and weighed 440 kilograms. So the Gallimimus walked on two long legs and was as fast as an ostrich, which could run up to 43 miles an hour. It's a herbivore and very skittish, and looks like it could be the fastest land mount in the game. It's going to be a very fast mount that can leap obstacles really well. So this could be handy for scouting out enemy bases, uh, getting back to your body quickly, or just evading other dinos. So let's uh, read what it says. So we're uh, in the wild. When someone asks me what the fastest creature on the islands are, Gallimimus is always a contender. Unlike the islands, many armoured animals, Gallimimus strong defence for the ability to outrun pretty much anything. So it's a skittish herbivore. Gallimimus even looks nervous when eating in a peaceful, clear meadow. So it's a very nervous looking creature. Looking around all the time like a chicken. Oh, let's have a look. Having no real way to harm predators, it simply runs away and uses its agility to stay safe. I've even seen wild Gallimimus outrun speed trained Utah raptors. So it's uh, going to be faster than a raptor that's, uh, that has had its uh, speed increased. So uh, domesticated, there are two general camps on the use of the tamed Gallimimus. One camp thinks that their inability to actually harm hostile creatures and their inability to harvest most resources makes them primarily a burden to the tribe. The other camp thinks that their extreme speed and ability to jump long distances is among the best for scouting, exploring or just making a quick getaway. So uh, that means one camp thinks they're a waste of space and the other camp thinks they're great. I suppose you won't know until we get our hands on them. 
So if you have a saber tooth or a bird, you probably won't need one. But it's, as you know, you've got to catch them all. So uh, last up, we have this ginormous giant ape, or AKA King Kong. This is going to be one of the uh, end level bosses, just like the Brood Mother, which you summon by collecting various bits. As you can see, it's a big white ape, and it's absolutely huge. So uh, we're not sure what, what it's going to do in the game to you. Probably summon loads of apes. But it's got half its face missing for some bizarre reason, not sure why. But there you go. Right, anyway, till next time. See you later. Cheerio.